Greetings, sirs and madams. I'm Seraphic Zero, and we're playing Gundam Battle Operation. I'm using my level 1 GM Sniper 2, and because this is a cost room, I am also using my level 1 GS2 rifle. I do have uh, up to level 3 completed, but I've development blocked my level 3 rifle for my Gundam Alex Beam rifle, which still has not dropped yet to this day. And, uh,. I was hoping my teammates would cap A for me, but they clearly did not, so I am going to capture it myself. Yeah, I, I really wish I could have just started shooting <laughs> and, you know, doing my job as a sniper, but oh well. This is a really nice rifle. I think it's, uh, I think it's based on the Springfield sniper rifle, actually. Alright, got a pretty good perch. Um, I can't tell who this is. Like, I, I am gonna have a little bit of trouble sniping in this round because uh, the crosshairs are really thin and of course my uh, my screen is a bit blurry. And also on top of that, um, <coughs> the day that- oh jeez. That isn't that guy. That really surprised me. Anyway, while we are fighting this at guy, I'll tell you about my, what happened to my TV. So, when I turned on my... Well, that's a bit of lag right there. <laughs> when I turned on my TV today, there was a ghosting problem. Meaning, like, uh, there were... All there were phantom images, and also, like, uh, like menus kind of bleeding like out bigger than they're supposed to on my TV. And at first I thought the ghosting issue on my TV was due to my capture device, but it turns out it, it really is the TV. It's, um, yeah. So right there I had actually pushed the tackle button like two seconds before Ray hit me, but it didn't register for some reason. And uh, that's why I'm seeing light is bad right here. So what's happening to my TV is that it's not actually the screen that's causing the ghosting, it's caused by the whatever circuitry is receiving the signal input and then uh, outputting it to the screen because it will ghost no matter what uh, <clears throat> uh, no matter what channel or no matter what source you put it on. Like it's on all of my HDMI inputs and all of my AV cables and yeah. So, my TV is old and it probably needs to be replaced, um, which is kind of surprising because I actually don't use my TV very much. So, yeah, I guess I'll just have to get a new one soon. Yeah, I bought it in conjunction to my first PS3. I bought them both at the same time. And I still need to pay off my credit card <laughs> from back when I did that. Oh, I think I hit the ground there instead. What the hell? Okay, that was weird. He just like moved to a completely different part of the map. Uh. Okay, Ray just teleported again. Yeah, I believe that uh, that a free player is actually a random on the Xeon side. And I'm not sure if I'm actually hitting anybody or if I'm just hitting that pole. And that's weird. That that should have done more damage to him, but it didn't for some reason. And for some reason he is charging over here suicidally. Yeah, and uh <laughs> The GM Sniper 2 has hand grenades for its sub-weapon, and they don't seem to do very much damage, but that's what we got. Right in your foot, sir. Oh, he actually has broken legs. But uh, we're all gonna have to wait for his invincibility frames to go away. Alright, looks like, uh. Yeah, we did a pretty good job of fending off Xeon, and they're all. Oh, Jesus. Why is he suicide charging no proof the whole time? Ah. 
because somebody finally decided to shoot me. That's Azurus uh, hitting me with his, his Gatling again. I'm not actually sure who this is. Oh, Azurus. <laughs> he loves to antagonize me. I was thinking about respawning at A, but it seems a little too far away. I'm probably going to end up behind the enemy defensive line, and they're going to turn around and surround me. So I decided to respawn at base, and it put me on the other side of this hangar. So let's just uh, get on top to see where everything is. Yeah, I don't like this as much as my other perch. Yeah, nothing's happening, like, from this here, <laughs> from this, like, viewpoint. Oh, did you just see that? That bullet just curved mid-flight. <laughs> I don't even know what would cause that. Lag. Like, the physics of the universe bending in order to screw up how well I do in GBO. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like our team is doing a good job of pushing Xeon back from the base, so Nopuru and I are going to have to advance if we are going to provide any support fire. And I missed again, I probably hit a box or something. Oh, that was just lucky. Yeah, I really should uh, get the level 2 of this mobile suit. I, I do have it done, but I had blocked it so I could finish uh, my full armor Gundam and my Gundam Alex. But uh, now might be a good time to finish it up. I got the solid hit. He's almost dead, but uh, he got a counter on somebody. <laughs> Alright. Good game, guys. Uh, Looks like the Federation did a pretty good job. Wow, oh, it's almost a 2 to 1 score. Yeah, so Guang got the most kills and the best kill to death ratio. Nopro took the least damage and he was actually never killed. He went perfect. <laughs> and I scored bottom, which is uh, kind of expected for, you know, a sniper without paid parts. But uh, I'm pretty happy with the match. I think I did a lot to support the team. Is that? It looks like uh, I'm halfway done with my level 3 Gundam Alex. It's not bad at all. Alright guys, that's it for match 2. Go ahead and look in the description for the link to Rob's match because he's the only other person who recorded uh, for that round. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next match. Bye.